Hey, there's another chance of rain coming in. Will it be enough to take down the temps? I'll let you know with a seven-day forecast coming up then. All right, thanks, Dave. With this summer heat, first responders say it's important to keep yourself protected from the sun, but you also need to keep your eye on, keep an eye on your furry friends. CBS 3's Emma Quinn Come joins on, us live the from the Jean Duluth Dog Park. Emma, what advice did first responders <laughs> give pet owners? <laughs> Yeah, so Kristen, I'm here with my new friend Georgie, and we're here at the Dean Duluth Dog Park. And first responders say that whether you're hanging out here at the dog park, walking around town, or even staying cool at home, there's a few important things you need to keep an eye on. Oh, beating the heat will take a little more than some treats for our four-legged friends. It's going to be really hot this weekend, so don't overdo as far as exercise goes. Local veterinarians say to prevent your pet from getting heat exhaustion, make sure they have plenty of shade and cool water. Lots of dogs won't drink water if it's warm, so a trick to do is maybe to freeze big blocks of ice to put in your dog's water dish. Make sure the water dish in the house is not in direct sunlight. Duluth Fire Department officials say even if the windows are down and the AC is on, Dogs should never be left in the car. Especially in the cars, it doesn't take much more than a couple minutes for your car to heat up well over 100 and some degrees. And pets in general, they just can't handle the heat. When you and your furry Fido head out for a walk this summer, test out the pavement with your bare hand or foot. If it's too hot for you, it's too hot for them. And every year I feel like we see blistered pads from walking on pavement that's too hot. And sand sometimes can get really hot too. Lastly, dogs, unlike humans, don't sweat, so noticing heat exhaustion will look different. It will pant excessively. It will sometimes drool. They can get weak to the point of collapse, which means that they're hypothermic or that their body temperature is too high. Now, Kristen, veterinarians say dogs with a flat face, like a bulldog or a pug or even a Persian cat, they naturally have a harder time breathing, so you want to make sure you're keeping an extra eye on those kind of dogs and cats because they do get overheated quicker. And uh, Kristen, if only you could see what I'm seeing is there's plenty of dogs surrounding our photographer, Alex, so... <laughs> Well, Emma, we are having quite a ball out here. <laughs> it looks like a lot of fun. Now, if someone sees a pet in danger in a hot car, are there rules that we need to abide by, or what can we do? So, Kristen, in Minnesota, you can face a petty misdemeanor. In Wisconsin, there are no fines, but there are guidelines as far as who can and cannot engage and in, break into a car to save an animal if they're in distress. But first responders say the best piece of advice is to just call 911 as soon as you can. Yeah, Emma, your new friends are pretty darn cute, and it's definitely important to know that information so we can keep them safe in this heat. Emma Quinn for us tonight. Thanks, Emma.